I am recording right now, Lauren. Okay. It might get weird for whichever salesman we're gonna do is. <laughs> Guys, we've been, this is the first time it's at the end of the show. Guys, I want, you, I want to introduce you to Lauren over here at Cutwater and Ranger Tugs. So, I've been talking to Brian. Yep. And Brian has been emailing me back and forth. I've tried to go in multiple shows, multiple shows, but you guys have been swamped. Oh, yeah. yeah. All the time. Mm -hmm. So, I finally get a window at the end of this show. Everybody's about to leave. And um, we got some boats I want to show here. Cutwater and Ranger Tugs. Do you want to walk it or do you want to have someone else walk it? Why not you, Lauren? Come on, <laughs> Lauren. Come on, Lauren. You know the boats. <laughs> I do. Come on, let's go. Come on. All right, guys. Lauren's going to do this in the fire. That's it. Come on, Lauren. Let's go. It is what it is, guys. All right, come on. All right, so welcome to Cutwater. Come on, let's go. Let's jump on board. Um, now, obviously, Lauren, you're in. I love this, guys. That is what you call. That is what you call unexpected. <laughs> All right, so this is a new model for you guys. Yep. One, what model was this? It's a 288. 288. Let's step inside and okay. let's go ahead and talk about what we got over here. You know, when I went to the Pacific Northwest, Lauren, mm -hmm. the first time I got introduced to this brand was in the Chicago Boat Show. Oh, really? I was freezing, by the way. <laughs> It was the coldest. I mean, I don't. I don't even know how people. It is freezing in Chicago. I don't know how people choose to live there. <laughs> Not nothing against Chicago. It's just like, it's like what? It was that cold. I like touched the railing over there, like by the water, and it froze, and I got like frostbite, and I, I couldn't <laughs> get off. I was my first experience of being stuck on metal. Yeah. Um. So, long story short, that was my first experience with cut water, and I thought that there was a lot of value. Yeah. For people's money. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been a fan since, and I just haven't been able to get on your boats because you guys are always swamped at the shows. Yes, yes, it's been busy, 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 but we just finally cleared up. We're at the final hour of the mm -hmm. show, really. Okay, so what what boat is this? A two eighty eight? Two eighty eight coupe, and it's brand new. Hole um, number, like. Oh, this hole number. I think it's number four or something. Four. All right, guys. So this is brand, brand new. Um, so, so let's walk and talk about this particular boat. So obviously, wow, look at this. Large, spacious cabin. Probably queen size down there. You got a full marine head. Shower. All the accoutrements. Are these fiberglass holes, um, Lauren? Yes. There are. Mm -hmm. Guys, where are they making these? Um, just outside of Seattle. Just so Pacific North Northwest mm -hmm. is that primarily your audience? Um, that from the Pacific Northwest, mm -hmm. we I'm a dealer on the East Coast, so okay. we get a lot of people who are doing the Great Loop or um, cruising up and down the ICW. Okay. Um, so yeah, they take these boats and stay overnight. The nights weekenders. And What's then, powering this? This is uh, some Yamahas on this on um, this particular model. Twin Yamaha two fifties. Oh, guys, look at this. <laughs> Everything is brand new. I, it smells brand new. Yes. So. You got your um, wine cooler here. Getting up close and personal. <laughs> did, you didn't expect to be on YouTube, didn't you? You're, you're like, I'm going to get your sales guy. Alfred said, wait oh, for yeah, it. Yeah. All right. So, so, so uh, I'm assuming this is a little modular here. You can yep. extend this and open this out if you wanted to. Yep. You can drop this down. The cushion goes here. These seats. Go back and forth so you can Boom. enjoy a meal nice. or have an extra bed. And then this also pops up. So you face it this way and sit out and enjoy the sunset. Or you can pop this up. Oh, well. that. Oh, wait a second. I just saw something else down there. Yep. Wait a second. So there's another bed down there. Look at that. Wow. You see, I wasn't expecting that. So you, you have a little area also if you wanted to go. Now, I see this, come, it's open right now. I feel like it was open, but if you wanted to close this up, you just close these windows, yep. everything. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad you're doing that. You know why? Because Lauren, there's gonna be women on these boats. Yeah. And I wanna show that, you know what? It's not hard, it's easy to close, open, you know? Absolutely. So guys, here it is, boom. Close it up. Turn on the AC and... And the door, same thing. Yeah. Just boom, close it up. And all of a sudden now, in a moment, boom, 
Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so in just like that we're in and out tell me a little bit about the the stove is is, is this uh what kind of uh, microwave and, and stove is it's this a convection grill and then the propane stove here tip top but then the one cool thing about this boat um is a patent pending seat that they have okay i don't know if you've ever seen this before i probably haven't okay this is fine can face forward, so you can wow. Face here. Wait a second. Or it can face back. I love that. Hold on a second. Let me film that again so I can copy it. Go open it again. All right, guys. Boom. Wow. Yep. Cut water. <laughs> Amazingness. Or you flip it around and you can face backwards. That is crazy, guys. Look at this. Don't worry about it. Okay. We'll cut that. All right, so absolutely incredible. Um, we have also over here an, an outdoor grill. Mm -hmm. So what's up, what's going on with this grill? Yep, you can just that outdoor propane grill. And then you have storage underneath as well. How fast is this boat going, Lauren? More or less? Cruise around. 32. 32, top speed on something like this? Um, 40. 40? Okay, so we're not we're not flying, but we're getting to where we gotta go quick. Um, a lot of people in the Pacific Northwest have a lot of places to go. And oh yeah. Man, they got some beautiful I places. Mean, oh yeah. San Juan's <laughs> and all that, that's beautiful over there, guys. Um, so this is a Cutwater 288, anything else? Coupe. Okay. So what about that big boy Ranger tug? Can we walk that one? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. All right, guys, get ready for amazingness. Are we gonna catch anybody off guard over there? I don't think it's at the end of the show, guys. Don't hold it against them <laughs> if they're having a sandwich. They're having a sandwich. So this is the 43. Okay, 43 what? Yep, the Ranger tug 43. And so this is a flybridge, a command bridge. Um, so one thing I'll show you are these chairs, so you can face them this way and enjoy the views that way, or they rotate back. So pop these down. And guys, we don't have a mic on, on Lauren right now. I know you might not hear her completely, but this is Run Gun. I wanted to come before I get out of here. So you literally just change the entire look of the boat. Just like that. That, that is absolutely insane, Lauren. Flip these up. Now you're part of the conversation. Boom. Yep. Never thought that you could build a house so fast. <laughs> there you go. This is a whole seating area. Isn't that great? Um, okay, so can we go inside without uh Can we can we come inside? We can come inside, we'll clear out for you. Up off. What's up? How you guys doing? You're on hey, YouTube. Yeah. Say hello to no our worries. YouTube family. Hello, YouTube family. Yeah, Lauren is here uh, under the fire and Alfred Montaner's uh, <laughs> channel. So, okay, so what model is this one called, Lauren? This is the Ranger Tug 43 Command Bridge. 43 Command Bridge. Yes. So, wow, I feel I like. 14 foot green. This is, room, this is, this is big, yeah. guys. This is big and uh i mean this is already a whole different level from what we just filmed right we just filmed now cut water and ranger tug sister yep. sisters We're right sister come factory. same factory and where's the factory at right outside of seattle right out of seattle so it's it's in washington area yep. okay so it's made in america yes and you know there's a big boating industry in the pacific northwest oh, yeah. especially a lot of aluminum hulls as well i've seen over there mm -hmm. built in bremerton washington and all those places over there yeah. um okay so let's walk forward and tell, tell me a little bit about um this particular boat and then we'll work our way back because i see that there's something down here oh yeah we'll save a little teaser yeah yeah we got to um, so yeah, we have a um, very spacious full galley. Um, this pops up or can go down and, you know, a cushion goes here. But this whole thing pops up and there's a washer dryer down there, another fridge, another freezer. So this whole floor completely elevates? Yeah, come on. Come on. This is why we threw everybody out of the, the, uh, out of the boat. 
All right, guys, you see, this is what, you know, Brian, Brian and I have been communicating back and forth a lot, trying to make this video happen. And I'm glad I, uh, I came over here and Lauren is, wow. You are a woman of your word. You, <laughs> I, I was like, washer, dryer? I think she's confused, yeah. guys. Separate washer, no, dryer. Look at this. It's no, th th this is, you see, this is the stuff that I, I go crazy with, guys. Right? Yeah. A little bit more, but you get the yeah, I just want to give them the idea. So, all right. Washer, dryer, and then refrigerator, freezer, and more cabinet. So you have a, a, a refrigerator there as yeah. well, and more storage back here. Yeah. That is absolutely unexpected. Um, I wouldn't have expected that in a, in a hundred years. You don't need to close it down. Okay. We can leave it open. Um, we want to continue here on this... Uh, 2024 R43 CB. Don't worry, the guys are gonna have to sleep there in a little bit, yeah, right? There you go. <laughs> Very spacious, plenty of uh, storage. You have your office over here, which we are using currently to charge a drone. <laughs> you see, this is why I wanted to make it a point to come over here. Absolutely. I had like literally minutes to arrive, guys. <laughs> And I ran over here and I said, I got to film this. So you have a little office seating area. Office if, space, if if someone wanted to do their makeup there, they can do it as well. Yeah, that's true. All right? the ladies. Uh, listen. I mean, it's important. I, you tell me. <laughs> I'll tell you guys. Look, you sit there. I'm sure you can go ahead and have a mirror and stuff like that if you wanted to as well. Oh, yeah. So you got some more storage here. Yep, storage here. <laughs> Outlets and stuff here. There you go. And then you have a nice head in there. All right, so let's walk towards the helm here, Lauren, and talk about that real quick. There you go. So somebody that's navigating this particular Ranger tug, yep. he or she is going to be operating it using what power? What power is on this? The IPS um, 600. Drives, yep. So Volvo 600s, and I've done multiple videos on my channel, guys, of uh, IPS 600 Volvos, and. Uh, it's so easy to dock with. Oh yeah, and right you just here. Have the little joystick. That's it, guys. It's like right. a video game. <laughs> it, it, it's it's. I'm telling you, an eight-year-old can do it. Yep. So this this will be your visibility here, and I see that. Yeah, there's a little seat that's uh, pushed out up there. Yeah, so so we're we're losing a little bit of vis visibility because something's open up there, and we'll yeah. go over there now. They'll have that visibility, but I, I'm also seeing like, you know, really comfortable seating areas. So. If captain is driving and people still want to have conversations and communicate with captain, they're right here. Yep. You also have more seating here. Um, you said here earlier, and I wanted to kind of like wait until later. <laughs> so this is a nice size galley. Oh yeah, lots of storage. And you have another refrigerator there, mm -hmm. and you also have an oven here on the on the bottom. You can wash and look at this. Nice guys. Um, now, uh, Lauren, they can they can choose different colors and uh, as far as wood colors and darker or, or um, how's that going? All this comes pretty standard. Um, okay. Uh, but you can definitely choose your whole color. Okay. Um, and then you come down here and you have your extra bedroom for guests. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Listen, uh, this is the end of the show. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so all right, so so this is a lot of space here. Oh, yeah. So you have uh, obviously a lot more space for people to go ahead and rest. Is there air conditioning in this particular yes. boat? There Heat is. and air conditioning comes standard. And we have here uh, switches to everything that we're gonna need to turn on and off. What do we got here? We got an inverter, so we got a generator. Sea keeper on this guy? Um, yep, there's a um, stabilizer. We got a sea keeper stabilizer. All right, so let's walk and talk. Let's about go some up on the command bridge. Yeah, go let's there? go. Let's go check it out. Oh yeah, and you have your aft steering station back here. So that if you uh, want to back in, you just come back here. I'll go up first. Uh, yeah. Sure. All right, guys. Welcome aboard. So now we are talking. So, wow, we got the best view in the house now. Oh yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay. You got your grill, you got your sink. Cook up some nice uh, food while you're here. So, so immediately we got up here, we're feeling that nice, 
Palm Beach weather right oh, now. Yeah. It's 68, 69, guys. The weather has been absolutely amazing. So this is your helm area over here. Yep. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about that real quick. Yeah, so you can sit here and uh, drive the boat. You have all the same controls as down below right up here. And it's just comfortable. It is. Comfortable cruising. You even got the joystick. And now, we have a dinghy back here, and we, I'm assuming there, oh yeah, there's the davit for the dinghy as well. Yep. How big of a dinghy can they put on there? Maybe what, a 13, 14 footer? Yeah. Yep. That's probably what it looks like it fits. It looks like it has a 10 or a 12 right now, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, rigid inflatable. And then you have your two, uh, there's a two, yeah, two solar panels on the back. Is, mm -hmm. Oh, so you have some solar panels here. Is, is this a customer's boat? Uh, yes. It is, so yes. They're, they're, they're loaning it to you guys so you guys can show it on the show. Now, Well, you know, and it's it's nice for you guys to be able to show them off because I'll, I'm a I'm sure you guys have a little bit of, of back order when it comes to, you know, how long it takes to get a boat like this. Right, exactly. What's what's the time frame more or less looking like now? This, this, these boats probably eight months out. Eight months out. So that's not terrible. Um, that's not terrible at all, guys. Uh, when you think about what uh, what you're getting. Now this is the same one that we just filmed right now. This is the one. Oh no, we were. I'm sorry. We're on this. We're on this 288 over here. Yeah. This one over here, guys. So and you got the sport racks up there. You can see the kayak up there. Yes, very, very nice. Yeah. Um, which model is this here? This is the 32. 32 command, command, yeah. command bridge. By Cutwater. So, so, so it's a Cutwater one. It's not Ranger Tug. Uh, what, so all the Cutwaters are on that side. All the Rangers are on this. What side. makes the difference between Cutwater and Ranger? What Mostly would the styling? The styling. Yep. Okay. And then you got more modern interiors on the cutwaters and interiors for the ranger tugs are wood typically and so it's more of a style right mm -hmm. so there's a community behind the type of person who's going to buy into the yeah. ranger tug um okay what's the price point on something like this okay what was that i'm sorry 1.25 including um Everything is, as she said, so. Okay, so obviously she's not going to have a dinghy. you got to get your own dinghy. But yeah, it comes with a dinghy. Oh, it, it, yep. it does come with a dinghy. Really? Mm -hmm. What kind of dinghy does it come with? Wait for it, guys. We're, we're going to have to put that in the description. Um, so, so this will close up here um, when you're moving. Yeah, look at this, guys. How would we get towards the bow of the boat? Earlier, 450 pods, not the 600. 450s? Yep, on this one. No, that's fine. 450 IPS. Yep. Uh, guys, okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. So, okay. boom. And then this closes. Nice. Let's go see what we got going on up front, guys. There you go. Bam. And, and just like that. From inside to out, outside in a moment guys um all you're missing is the titanic moment over here <laughs> yes. guys I'm you're missing my partner <laughs>wait a second so where where does okay oh so this that's so, the cabin yep this is the hatch yeah so you let some fresh breeze in where online can they go? You can go to pocketyacht.com for the dealer from Maryland to um, Eastern Florida, or they can go to rangertugs.com. Rangertugs.com, guys. I want to thank Lauren for this amazing walkthrough. Brian, thank you so much for making this happen. <laughs> guys, we've been trying to make this happen. Do you guys got anything new that we can talk about in the future? Anything new we can talk about in the future? Oh, anything? Yeah, there's, some, there's some good stuff going on. Oh, oh, the marketing Stay side tuned. just, the marketing <laughs> side. Alfred Montan at Ranger Talks, guys, over here at Palm Beach Boat Show. Wait for it. Boom! <laughs>